Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is the day after love day, the day after Valentine's Day, and it is muddy and gross outside. Absolutely horrible outside. It's disgusting. Whisper challenge. I was ready for that. What's the whisper I was challenge? Hit you. I don't know. Oh, by the way, Sophie turned pink. Don't do it. Purple, actually. Purple, purple, actually. The lights won't turn on. I think I unplugged it. Oh, we need light. Yeah, no, we should do the whisper challenge. Okay, what is the whisper no, challenge? It's an old challenge where one person wears headphones with music blasting in their ears so they can't hear anything. Then you say something. Oh. You say a sentence, so then they have to. Yeah, we never really did any of that but kind of stuff. With three people, it's more fun. Okay. Okay. But All right. When one person says money. it, then the other person says it to the next person. It's like telephone. All right. We'll do it later. Oh, we'll do it later. What's wrong with my horse? What's wrong with your horse? She rolled. She rolled? Yeah, we took all the blankets off today. Honey never has a blanket on. I know. That's true. Oh my gosh. All the other horses are like, look it. She did it. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. Oh my god. my hat. Bad. It's so bad. bad Don't say she's bad. bad Horses bad. know when you say stuff, you know. She's not bad. She is a horse and horses no, roll. Alright, so can you call dad and ask him if we can fix the lights? She's like, I know there's something in your pocket. Anyway, our baby, look at all different three colors, three Whoa. sizes. All three different sizes. Yeah, I'm sorry Willow, she has to brush this one. It's neat to see them all in their she stands for being bare nakedness though. Yeah, she likes to be brushed. She loves being brushed. I guess that's why she's dirty. See, it's still wet, so she just... Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh, anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's video where, oh, the sun came out. We are actually down here to clean the barn today. It's time to clean the barn. Every once in a while, especially in the winter, things pile up and don't get, and don't stay clean because we're not spending as much time down here because it's winter. Today's the day I'm gonna organize everything and get everything cleaned up. I'm probably gonna wash our fly masks. Do you know these like cheap ones? Literally last forever. It's still wet, so it's, Harder. So all the blankets are on the couch, yeah. which is a great place for them. I know. Except I got a new blanket because I, hello, hello. I wanted to wash the blankets that's there. So we have like a waterproof blanket, soft waterproof blanket that goes on the couch. And I've only ever had one. So I've never been able to like take it off, wash it and then put it back. So now I have an extra. Hi baby. Oh yes, you're so cute. Yes, you're so cute too. Yes, oh my goodness. You were rolling too. Oh, <laughs> you look adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> look at how cute. It fits her. I mean, she's a little dirty, but she's cute. I have to wait for her to dry to be able to brush it. Yeah. I love, like, I love the days that we take off the blankets because I get to see. No, wait their body condition. Willow's a little bit chubby, but not horrible. See, honey just stands She's been worse. Pink. That's her color. Pink is definitely her color. Honey's color? Ma uh. Oh! <laughs> Cutie! All right, next winter, I will definitely make everybody a winter hat. I need to learn how to crochet so I can make them. I'll teach you, it's so fun. I, you already tried before when you were in the hospital. No, that was a long time ago. You could be, you'd be good at it now. She's a sweet pony. Oh, hi. All right, stop getting us, oh, there goes your hat. All right, stop getting us distracted. I'm gonna give everybody a job to do. Your job is to clean outside this door. See how? Well, if that's not there, then it's gonna be all mud. No, it's okay. <laughs> See how there's a bunch of straw or hay there? Yeah, we Sweep keep it. Sweep it all up. Your job is to clean the arena. But I said no. Oh, you don't want that job? Okay, your job is to clean this room then. It means hanging up all the blankets cleaning off the couches and finding a spot for everything. It means like cleaning off that shelf and putting everything organized and neat. Which do you prefer? All right, you're gonna do that? Okay, I'll clean the arena. 
those blankets you could probably just put on the tack trunk. Well, hello. <laughs> you coming to help? I was telling somebody recently about Penny when we first went to buy her, and I know I've told this story before. When we first went to get Penny, she was literally so grouchy. So grouchy to the point that Gabby said, you're not buying this horse. So when we went there, the lady was getting her tacked up. She had like runny eyes or crusty eyes because she has a deformity in her eyelid. So her eyes were kind of dirty and I asked about them and she said she has to clean them. And so then, as soon as she saw the saddle, her ears went flat back. And I mean like flat back, as flat as you can get. And Gabby said, you're not buying this horse. And I'm like, oh, I might. <laughs> But then the lady invited us all to go on a trail ride. So Gabby got to go on a trail ride with us. We went on a trail ride like to try her. And there's a video. And we were tacking up the other horses. And so she put Penny in a stall and then she put Penny's stallmate beside her. And Penny and this stallmate would physically fight each other over the, over the bars. Like they would both rear up and squeal at each other through the bars. And then the lady would say, ears, Penny, because she, <laughs> Penny's always had an issue with her ears. <laughs> and then Penny would put her ears forward. At that point, we were just excited to be going for a trail ride. And, and Gabby, but Gabby kept saying, like, you're not buying this horse. So we got ready to ride on our trail and I got on, or I got ready to try Penny and we tried her. And as soon as I rode her, I was like, this is what I want. And this is, she reminded me so much of the Pasofinos. It was glorious. It was glorious, amazing, wonderful, and I ended up buying her. And as, since she's come home, at first she was the same. I'm fairly certain there's videos of her, like we had the gate up in the doorway here. I'm fairly certain that there's videos of her lunging at the gate with the other horses, but sometimes like putting a gate between horses can make them do that lunging because a lot of horses are brave behind a gate. Over time, as she's gotten to trust us, She's gotten so much better. She still will fight the other horses off if they're like invading her space. She'll just like push them off and pin her ears at them because she's the lead mare and that's just who she is. And it will probably always be a part of who she is, but I see so much change in her and so much uh, calmness in her and so much acceptance of like, so much confidence. Like she understands what we want from her and what we expect from her and how we will always treat her. And with that, she's just flourished. And I know she was treated incredibly well at the other place too. The other thing that the lady that owned her said was that she's a standoffish horse. She's a horse that always is on her own in the paddock. She doesn't like, she doesn't like make friends with other horses and probably she looks really bad. So, um, and that has been true for us too. She like loves her herd but she doesn't love one horse in particular. Like she doesn't love them and bond with them and be like best friends with them, except for one horse. She loves Chino, you guys. She is obsessed with Chino. She still does expect him to like maintain his distance, but when she wants to be near him and she chooses to be near him, I've seen her rub his neck and like be cuddly with him. And I've never seen her be like that before. And when I bought Penny, I knew that she would not be a good fit for our YouTube channel. I knew she would be a good, I suspected she'd be a good fit for our family. But I knew that there would be a lot of people online that didn't understand that she has um, a eye deformity of her eyelid, parts of it are missing, and also that she pins her ears and is a bit grouchy. I knew that people would always have something to say about it negatively, but I believe, I believe all life has value and it doesn't matter if you are a grumpy kind of person or if you're a happy kind of person, like honey is the happiest little thing ever. I believe that every animal has value. And I'm just so thankful that I actually was able to see the value in Penny before I bought her because I don't know if everybody would have. So today's clean of the barn. I should have like got some footage of it, but setting up the camera and moving it and stuff all the time takes time. And I just wanted to get it done. Today was not like the barn cleanup where I empty buckets and try and like sort stuff because we want to have a yard sale this year. Like we are planning a massive yard sale and I'm like so good at yard sales, you guys. 
I give everything, I sell everything for so cheap. Like people who come to our yard sales are always so happy when they leave. But anyways, let's show you what we did. You guys decide who is the better cleaner. So this was my section over here. I cleaned it up, got it all cleaned, swept, organized. And I also did the arena. You guys can't tell, but I'll show you what I did. It's still wet in a lot of places, but, and we feed, sometimes we feed our horses inside. So like we're feeding honey inside right now because when I was cleaning the arena, she decided to stay in with me and she always does that. She'd rather be with us. So then the horses go out and they eat and then, gosh, then they eat and then she doesn't get as much. She doesn't get as much as she should, or at least I worry that she doesn't get as much as she should. So um, Gracie was in here with her, so we just fed them a little hay in here. That pole is frozen to the ground. Oh, there we go. All right, so um, we fed them in here, but what happens when we do feed them in here is that we get hay strands all over the place. So I raked this whole section. I clean up all the poo. It might not look awesome, but it's better than it was except for those little area over there. That was my job. I'm also going to clean this off, but I might wait till the horses have their blankets back on. <laughs> but I have a clean, fresh blanket to go on there. So I'll leave that, Ooh. So I'll leave that there. So uh, this was my whole section. I had to clean all this. I leave her stuff. Some of my stuff is still in the trailer and waiting for it to dry up a bit before I go and get stuff. This is my area. This is my area. So this is what Sophie did. You guys saw that it was covered in hay, emptied all those buckets, cleaned all this up got rid of most of the hay that was on the ground because when the grass starts to come up, I want it to be able to come up. All right, let's go see what Gabby's been up to. So Gabby, wow, is actually a really good cleaner. She's still cleaning, but look, she cleaned the rug, she cleaned the blankets. I a couple things away. Yeah, Sophie cleaned up in like here as well. Five saddle pads. Everything's all organized. My plan for our yard sale. Do you want to have a yard sale this summer, Gabby? This no. spring? Why? Because. Gabby hates yard sales. She does not love people. You want to have a yard sale? sale? Uh, honey's blanket that she'll probably never, never wear. Never wear, yeah. No, I'm going to keep it because you never know. Um, so I mean, my plan is to go through all that stuff in those buckets. And I don't think we're ever going to use those polo wraps. Like we collected them, but we never feel confident putting them on. Because we can't know. Well, Gabby knows how. I think we're gonna get rid of all of those. Go through those buckets. All right, I think we're done. Gabby just has to sweep that up, and then we are finished. Uh, do you need to get honey a flying mask? We need to go out there and brush honey. We have to wait for her to dry. She's mostly dry. Okay. We ready? All right, we're done, guys. Can we call Dad to drive us up? No, we can it's walk too up. Muddy. So that is it. Oh, actually, we didn't do this section. All right, so we did not clean this section. I'll have to clean it later. It's just that the table needs to be swept. I always just sweep it off. All right, so I found a puppy. Found a puppy that I love, that I'm excited about, and I'm waiting to hear if I can get her. So while I'm waiting, I wanted to share some things with you guys. Okay, so. The other day I told you guys that I wanted a dog that was about uh, just under 10 pounds. I want a dog under 10 pounds. But what I didn't explain was that I want a dog that is a toy breed. I still want a toy breed. The only dog I would ever get, the only kind of dog that fills my heart are toy breeds. So like the Chihuahuas and the Yorkies and the, and the toy poodles and the like little teeny tiny ones but I always go for the teacup size. In the past, I've always bought the teacup size, so I've always bought the like little, like Macy was, I don't know, like eight and a half ounces at 12 weeks when we when we got her. So she was so super tiny, and those are the ones that I always gravitate to. Those are the ones that I want. But Cookie, who actually did really well on the farm, she was five pounds. She was just better, she was just a better farm dog, being that little bit bigger. That's what I'm looking for. I'm still looking for a toy breed dog. I still want it to be under 10 pounds, preferably like five to seven pounds is my dream. That's what I want. Obviously that's still quite small for a farm, but there are some breeds out there that are like a little bit more feisty, have a lot of energy, like 
So that's what I'm looking for. I found a puppy. I'm so super excited. I've messaged about the puppy. I literally have gone through so many puppies and it's hard to like find exactly what I want. So I messaged about a puppy and I'm waiting to hear back and you guys will be the first to find out. But yeah, I found one and I'm not going to tell you what it is, what breed it is. I'm going to have you guys guess. I don't know if I'm getting it yet. So cross your fingers for me. Um, but maybe it's time for me to get a puppy. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the 